Hi guys, welcome to New Horizon London's Tips and Tricks. We are looking today at running programs as different users. This is a useful little feature when you are an administrator or managing other PCs, even parents at home managing their kids' PCs and they want to run administrative functions like uh, renewing, renewing an IP address or connecting to different services. I uh, thought it might be useful to show you because there's a few little shortcuts in here that if you get used to, it does cut down on the workload. <clears throat> I'll give you an ex example. If you're logged on as a bog standard user, you can't do something, which at the moment I am. I'm logged on as Peter, who's a non-administrative user, can't, for example, look at computer management. It asks you to run the program with different credentials. Right now you can't see this, but I am presented with the user account control dialog box, which is asking me to log in as an administrator. I'm logging in as Joe here. and I can now get to device management. For example, to see uh, or mon monitor or manage or delete, etc. the drivers that are running the devices in the system. If I close that, remember I've opened that as uh, Joe. Another way to do it. Is to run as an administrator. Alternatively, I've just right clicked that. If I hold down the shift key and right click it, I get run as administrator and run as a different user. Useful. Now you should be able to see this. It says uh, run as a different user. Who do you want to log in as? It's dot backslash Joe. And there I'm in. I don't get any error messages. Just for confirmation, if I try and run that as my standard user account, the one I'm logged in with. I do get in, but if I try and do anything administratively, oh dear, I'm just a standard user. Okay guys, I thought you might like to see that. Um, there's just the, just the principle of this uh, goes system wide. I'll give you an example. Open up a command prompt, I run that as the standard user that I'm logged on as. If I try and open a command prompt again, but hold down, control, shift, Alt and Enter. That asks me for user account privileges with a different account. So I log on with Joe. And I'm now running it as an administrator with administrative privilege. For example, if I run IP config register DNS settings, it tells me you can't do that, you need to be an administrator. Do it in the administrative window. And three, two, one. There we go, it works. Just thought you might like to see this. Remember, if I had to do this as an administrator uh, and uh, I couldn't run as another user, then I'd have to log off, log on as that user, run the program, log off, and log the standard user back on again. I thought it was a little shortcut that's uh, well worth you seeing. Hope you've enjoyed it. Come back for more tips and tricks soon. New Horizons London. Bye now.